Hi folks, how is everyone? Today I'm doing something a little different. By request, one of my loyal viewers uh, requested a particular game, so I thought, what the heck, I'll go ahead and play it. It's, uh, it's a little different. This is uh, somewhat different from other games that you may have played. Uh, the game is called Vinnie Vol's Existential Nightmare, uh, and I honestly don't know if Vinnie Vol is... Uh, I am under the impression that Vinnie Vol is a real character, like, like he actually appeared in something else before this game and they adapted the character for the game or something. I'm not sure. I, I, I'm afraid I'm not uh, aware of exactly the background behind that. But uh, So yeah, this game is for the that venerable uh, computer that was very well known in Europe, the Sinclair Spectrum, and was almost completely ignored in the West, in, in the Western Hemisphere, that is. But uh, anyway, so this is uh, a game that, as I understand it, this is not a remake, and it's not a, a classic game. This is actually a new game that was actually made for the Spectrum, like it was actually made new for the Spectrum, which is impressive. I actually would like to see more people uh, developing games like this that are actually made for the, the platform, new, instead of just, you know, being remade for, for more contemporary operating systems, but anyway. So, uh, let's see, so let's go ahead and start. So. I'm going to go ahead and run the tape loader, because this game came on a tape. Um, and at this point, what you're supposed to do is press play. If this were a real Spectrum, I would actually just press play on the tape uh, player. I've already loaded the tape image. Of course, in this case, since I don't have an actual physical tape drive, I can't do that. But instead, I'm, I'm emulating this using MESS, the multi-emulator super system. So what you do is you press tab to bring up this menu, and then you go to tape control, and you just choose play. And that's the same as if you were... Uh, as if you uh, were pressing the actual physical play button on the tape player. So here we go. Horrible noise warning. This is the actual... These are the famous sounds that um, Spectrum owners actually had to live through whenever they loaded a program. Apparently they're pretty nostalgic about it. If you were actually a Spectrum owner and you had to go through this each time, it probably brings back memories. For a lot of people, it probably kind of sounds like... Um, um, I recently started reading Infinite Jest, and so I'll go ahead and use its, uh, its analogy, because it's one of the best sound analogies I've heard in a while. It's like a donkey drowning in something viscous. I think that probably describes it pretty well. Although, actually, it's probably a lot more shrill than a donkey would be. A donkey drowning in something viscous would probably sound more like... Or some, something like that, I, I don't know. Anyway, there you go. There is Vinnie Vol. Uh, he appears to have a somewhat asymmetrical face, but that's okay. Uh, the game is made by Soren Micros, as you can see in the lower right. And this whole Dit Fun Pack 1986 thing, somebody please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm under the impression that that's a complete ruse and that this game was actually made in the 2000s. Maybe I'm totally wrong. Uh, whatever. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Maybe someday I'll find out. Again, I apologize for the noise. I, I was thinking of silencing it, of turning off the sound of the actual program loading uh, during this portion, but I wanted to give the full experience. I wanted to really go for the fully authentic Spectrum experience, and so I, I'm including this. I know some people will probably complain, but some people would have also complained if I had admitted it, so it's kind of a, a no-win situation. I just went up. I erred on the side of authenticity because, you know, I'm just so authentic like that. Any day now it will finish, I promise. Maybe. Okay, here we go. This is Vinnie Vol's Existential Nightmare, the main menu. So the controls are pretty straightforward. You have a button for up, another button to move down, one to move left, and one to move right. That's it. Four, uh, or I guess I should say keys, not buttons, but you have four keys to control the game, and that's it, plus space to start. So here goes, press space to, space to start. Your actions have damned Vinnie. And here we go, this is the game. So we are Vinnie the Vol, and I can move him around, just as I'm doing now. And, indeed, as we noted before, you have four controls. One to move up, one to move down, one to move left, and one to move right. And this is really it. You're in an enclosed room, and you can't really uh, get out of it. I mean, it's all boxed in, and you 
and you can move within it, but you can't get out of it. You can't escape it or do anything other than just walk around without any apparent or evident purpose. So there you go. Oh, what, what's wait? What's happening? He's no longer responding to input. He's just sort of standing there with his. Oh, oh, he's going stir crazy now. Benny, calm down. It's it's all right. It's it's you're not you're not gonna be able to break through the walls that way. Oh dear, this is going badly. Oh, he's calming down now. Uh, Vinny, are you alright? Wait, what's... No, Vinny, no! What? And there you go. And the game just stays on the screen forever. There's no way to get past the screen. I'm not, I'm not even sure if there's a way to restart the game without resetting the whole computer, but anyway. So there you go. Um... Apparently, it's uh, it's our fault that Vinny died. It kind of... Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and toss in a little commentary here and note that it reminds me of um, uh, the global thermo thermonuclear warfare game from War Games, in that it is a strange game in which the only winning move is not to play. Uh, it, it kind of highlights the other side of existentialism. I think a lot of people like existentialism because they like the idea of being in control of their destiny, and they like the idea that um, that you know they decide what uh, what their purpose in life is and what to do. But the flip side of that also applies if you um, you know if if you are responsible for everything that you do, then it's also if if you make a mistake, then it, it really is your fault. And I, I think a lot of people. At least at first, a lot of people don't think about that. They don't think about you know you you and you alone bear the responsibility if you uh, if you do something like cause a vole to shoot himself in the head because he was locked in a room. But yeah, obviously the game is meant to sort of highlight the apparent pointlessness of of a vole's existence and the idea that voles don't really understand the meaning of life or why they were put into a room or why they were given a gun, and apparently not much else, so, um, yeah. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, feel free to add your own interpretations and commentary in the comments as you wish, but uh, that's that's really it. This has been Vinnie Vol's Existential Nightmare. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Uh, I don't know that I can say I've enjoyed playing it. It it was it's the kind of game that you'd play once. Yeah. All right, everyone. I will see you folks later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.